Hi, welcome to the second part of the polysaccharide. In the second part of polysaccharide, we have just left two polysaccharides, that is cellulose and chitin. So let's start with cellulose and chitin. Cellulose is again a homopolysaccharide, means you will see many saccharide units, you will see many monosaccharide units linked with one another. But it looks like, it just looks like a, a, um, glycogen and starch because whenever I see that all our glucose units linked together. So every student will start thinking that it looks like starch and glycogen, but there is difference, but there is difference. Of course, each unit is glucose. I'm going to write here G, 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 means many glucose units are linked together. The difference between the cellulose and starch or glycogen is the bond there is beta 1 4 linkage as compared to starch and glycogen where we where we saw alpha 1 4 linkage but there is beta why beta because every sugar in in cellulose is beta sugar you know sugar is of two types alpha and beta sugar so beta glucose beta glucose beta glucose beta glucose each unit is beta glucose and one for you know very well we have discussed this this in the topic of disaccharides the carbon number one of one sugar and carbon number four of other sugar they will make a bond that's why we use the word a beta one four and this uh, has very great importance this bond uh, carries very uh, importance very great importance here because this kind of polysaccharide cannot be digested by the enzyme of the human body like amylase we have because this bond need another enzyme called as cellulase cellulase the cellulase enzyme can break this bond but amylase amylase enzyme cannot cannot break this bond that is why when we take cellulose we cannot digest it some students sometimes say that sometimes we, see, we eat green vegetables I, of course we use but actually all the green vegetable green leaves they will excrete it out as such only the, the important vitamins, the important minerals, because in the green vegetables there is not only present the cellulose, but there are some other important nutri nutritious substances as well. So these nutritious substances will be um, taken, extracted from these, and the remaining will be excreted out. So that is the question some students ask usually. Uh, second, if you uh, hydrolyze cellulose, you can also add cellulose. You will get cellobiose. Cellobiose. A cellobiose is actually a disaccharide, like this. Okay, this is one sugar linked with another sugar. So when two sugar are linked with each other by the help of beta one four linkage, this kind of disaccharide is called as cellobiose cellobiose is the hydrolytic product the cellulose just like we saw dextrin is the hydrolytic product of the starch so cellobiose is the hydrolytic product of the cellulose cellulose is exclusively present in plants this is the asset of plant because uh, you know there are so many plants in the world and every plant contains cell and every cell contains cell wall and every cell wall contains cellulose that is the reason we say most abundant carbohydrate in the world in the universe in the you know in the earth so that's why example of cellulose are and the paper right paper is very good example of cellulose right and um, mostly the cell wall cell wall contains cellulose is also a good example of this now the last one is chitin Chitin is another polysaccharide, of course homopolysaccharide, but this is the 
the special type of homopolysaccharide right? because it contains some special glucose units how special glucose units? because if you see here this is a glucose right can carbon number one two three four five six it carbon number two there is amino group and this um, because of the presence of the amino we give the name amino sugar to this kind of sugar now it's called amino sugar if we add one acetyl group here means one hydrogen is removed and in place of this we add we add what c c double bond o ch3 if if you don't like this i will write it here here c double bond o ch3 this is acetyl group ch3 c1 and we we call it n acetyl glucosamine and because the acetyl group is present at nitrogen so we call n acetyl glucosamine yes it is glucosamine now such kind of units if if i combine them many units if combine like this n acetyl glucosamine this is one n acetyl i cannot write again because it will take our time so again if if you see many such units n acetyl glucosamine n acetyl glucosamine n acetyl glucosamine and so on then this kind of polysaccharide will be called as chitin and and can we call it a homopolysaccharide yes because every unit is again similar chitin uh, contain bond beta 1 4 that is very special for the mcq's point of view that what is the bond in the chitin so we will say that beta 1 4 is the bond here beta 1 4 is the linkage here between the individual n acetyl glucosamine and remember chitin is present in the cell wall of the fungi uh, i hope you got the lecture if you got the lecture have a thumb up give me a like also please subscribe it as well so that you are you will be notified about my incoming videos remember me in your prayers thank you bye bye